five, um, we're going to review complex numbers. Um, you had this in algebra two. You would have had this in algebra two. You would have had this in pre-calculus if you've taken pre-calculus this year in college algebra. So this will be the third time that you've seen a complex number. A complex number can be written with a real part and an imaginary part, like 3 plus 2i is called a complex number. This is this little um, shear that I had. Do you guys remember? i1, i1 with the negatives in the middle. This one has a remainder of 0.25. It's 1 out of 4. This one's 2 out of 4. This one's 3 out of 4. And this one has no remainder. I1, I1 with the negatives in the middle. Okay, um, so for the first part of the assignment, they might ask you to find I to the 14th power. All you do is you take 14 on your calculator and divide it by 4, and it's 3.5, which means that you went through this chart 3.5 times through it, and 3.5 would give you a negative one. Um, I to the 91, uh, 91 divided by four is 22.75. That means you would have went through that 22 and three fourths of the way down, which would give you a negative I for your answer. Um, this one, I to the 15th plus I to the fourth, 34th, I mean you would have to do each one of these separately and tell me what it is. I to the 15th, 15 divided by 4 is 3.75, which is a negative I. And then 34 divided by 4 is 8.5, which is equal to negative 1. And that's all you can do, a negative I plus a negative 1. You cannot put those two together because one's an imaginary number and one's a real number. Um, I'm a, I changed 15 to a negative in my notes, so just to keep this in mind, um, if you see i to the 22nd, I'm gonna bring this one down into i to the 15th. And I know that i to the 15th from up above is a negative i, and i to the 22nd is 5.5, which is negative one. There's a rule in math that you can't leave i in the denominator, so I have to multiply the top and the bottom by i. So we have a negative i squared with a negative i on the top. i squared is a negative 1, and a negative of a negative 1 is a positive 1. Negative i, negative i. So you're just using that chart and simplifying um, complex numbers. Next part. We're gonna add complex numbers together. When you add, you put the real parts together. A negative three plus four is one. And four i take away negative five i is a negative i. When you subtract, you put the reals together. Five minus a negative three is really eight. Eight i minus i is a positive seven i. So adding and subtracting, and now multiplying. A negative two times a negative two is a positive four a positive 6i, a negative 8i, and a negative 12i squared. But i squared is equal to a negative 1, so a negative 12 and a negative 1 makes a positive 12, plus 4 makes 16 minus 8i. Um, some more of this. Um, there's really just two of these. A negative 2 times a negative 2 is 4 plus 2i plus 2i plus i squared. This makes a negative 1, so your answer is 3 plus 4i. 1 times 1 is 1 minus the square root of 5i plus the square root of 8i minus the square root of 40i squared. 
This makes 1 minus the square root of 5i plus 2 root 2i two minus 4 times 10 should be 2 root 10, positive 2 root 10, because remember this makes a negative 1. That is your final answer. There's nothing you can put together on number, um, number 9. And I think this is the last problem. You have to multiply by the conjugate top and bottom. And the conjugate, you just change the sign on the bottom. So basically, um, these two are called conjugates. All you do is change the sign. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2i plus 8i plus 2i squared on the top. On the bottom is going to be 4 minus 4i plus 4i minus 4i squared on the bottom. If I multiply by the conjugates, the negative 4i and the positive 4i cancel each other out. This makes a negative 1, which makes this a positive 4, and a positive 4 and a positive 4 makes a positive 8 on the bottom. On the top, this makes a negative 2. That can go with the 8. That makes 6 plus 10i. They all have a 2 in common. You can take a 2 out. You can take a 2 out. And you can take a 2 out. Final, final answer by taking a 2 out. So this is just a review on complex numbers because that's what we're going into next for the rest of this chapter, our eyes.